Hi everyone, I'm Jen. I wanted to um, talk about something difficult to explain, but because I've experienced it, um, let's see if I can explain it. Uh, this is just a theory from my own experiences. And uh, for those of you who may not know, I do experience the Mandela Effect phenomenon, which is um, basically, to me, ME means multiple experiencings. I am aware that I bounce around to different realities. So the props may change, the uh, human costumes change, the geography, whatever. It, it's just, I, I, I pop in my consciousness, my essence pops into different um, realities, different stages. And um, I have a dear friend where we share something similar. Um, and, and the story just is in, I see it here, there's in so many of us that we no longer recognize our loved ones. And so how I see it, as my dog is drinking water, um, is um, uh, how I see it is, I'll just talk about my friend and I. Um, uh, I actually lost my original firstborn, I believe in 2008. And, um, and then, um, my youngest uh, was changed in 2012, 13, which is like my friends. Um, she feels like everyone just changed in 2013. That's a big year for a lot of us. And, um, you know, my youngest and I were in a car accident in 2012. Um, and I even uh, said a huge prayer to her um, as we were ready to hit the, the wall. It was a cement wall in the median of, you know, high speed highway. Anyhow, magically, um, we woke up to the, um, car being perfectly parallel parked from ready to T-boning the wall. And, um, it's like a giant just picked us up, picked up a toy car and parallel parked us the wrong way, but still. Um, and that's also when her eye color changed and she changed. I've already talked about all this, but, um, for those, those of you that are new, and especially for my dear friend who's uh, longing for her family members, um, they're still here. Everybody's still alive. But how I see it is that because I'm aware that there's um, like we are a set of dominoes and we're one set. Uh, I'm talking about, let's just say Jen Incorporated, me. There's one set of dominoes, but there's, um, I don't even know how many dominoes come in a set of dominoes, but um, let's just say a couple dozen. So there's a couple dozen um, dominoes in Gen Incorporated, and I've come to get to know uh, the different versions as the set is returning to itself to become one whole set. So um, some of us go beyond the the logo changes and blah 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 um those still get me don't get me wrong those still get me um but um but i'm also seeing different versions of me even when making the videos i can see the physical changes some whatever i can see the physical changes in you guys too so um at times um not all the time but um there's just different versions that I'm talking to all the time now. And maybe we were doing this all along. It's just I'm aware of it the way some of us are aware of the Mandela Effect phenomenon. Um, that's why I call ME multiple experiencings because it's gone further for me. And um, so even though we do not recognize our family members that are in similar costumes here um, and whatever stages we're on, um, I still believe it's them, just a different domino piece of them. So they may have far away memories of the other pieces, parts of them, but, um, but really they're, they're living in their own domino piece here. And it's not uh, something to get frustrated at because this domino piece has been living here all along. And, uh, we don't know which, uh, 
Gen Incorporated piece they were dealing with, or like my friend, that they, they might have been dealing with a different piece of us as well, you know? So, as much as you um, count that as your most happiest time, um, and me too, I still mourn the people that I knew, especially since they're my children. So I get it. So when I share this with you and you know who you talk, I'm talking to is, um, there's still more mourning for me to do, but there's also acceptance. And with that, now that I, from my point of view, I'm understanding that the different domino pieces, um, you know, in a weird way, we get to meet all the different, uh, versions of them. And, uh, so maybe when they made a decision to try out for the uh, softball game and the version that did not try out for the softball game, um, you know, maybe we get to meet the different versions. And maybe the one who didn't try out for the softball team, we get to um, encourage them because maybe they were too afraid to before. But this version, um, maybe we can encourage them. All I know is that we have an opportunity um, to continue to love whatever pieces, parts of the domino set that we have in front of us. Um, as the New Agers say, you know, live in the now. Well, now I get it. Live with a, be present with whoever is showing up in front of you because that may be a different uh, version of them than yesterday or tomorrow. Um, and uh, I do believe that however we treat the version that is presented before us, that there are echoes that they hear from our whispers of love or non-love. I believe it's a domino effect of what we do to one affects all versions of them. And... Uh, This kind of great responsibility, you know, once you're aware, um, it's, it's responsibility, but there's freedom in that because now you're aware that you, um, can make a difference in this one's life as well. I don't know. You can handle it the way you want to. It's just, that's my interpretation. Um, and even those of you in the community, I've seen different versions of you. And uh, not just physically, um, but essence-wise, too, where there will be different aspects or different um, top dog uh, personalities that, um, that make it. Um, I just recommend um, knowing what you're doing at each and every moment. Because um, if you're following something out of habit or out of ritual or routine without thought as to why am I doing this? Um, if you're just blindly following somebody or an organization or your family without thinking, would I really, do I really want to be this way? Um, I think that's when we start fractaling ourselves more. But um, once you return to knowing who you are, um, all the domino pieces, parts can return to their set. And uh, I don't know what else to say. All I know is that, yeah, it hurts that you are missing certain parts of the domino set, but they're still there. And I do believe that they have the ripple effect, uh, domino effect of being able to, um, to receive our love. Sort of like a ghost. I'm thinking like a, a person who's died. Um, you know, I do see dead people and I do um, have contact with them. And it's frustrating for them. All they want to do is love their loved ones. And those of us here on earth have been taught um, to not connect with them. And uh, they just want to continue loving us. And I think that's kind of the same thing with this uh, multiple version stuff. So, all right. I love you. Sorry if you don't understand. It's because I'm not explaining it properly, and uh, because I'm just an experiencer, I am not a uh, 
professional. I love you. That part I know. And I love all versions of you. And I don't mean that in a um, la di da di da way. Like, I am serious. Because even the hurt versions that may hurt others, even yourselves, um, those are connected to the versions that I do know. And I, I see you, you know. I, I, I see the beautiful self that you are. And no, none of us are perfect. I find that many people, um, after they come to know me, <laughs> they go through this confessional period, like I'm Miss Perfect or something, and they have to explain away why they're not perfect. I am not perfect. Everyone keeps saying that they're not a good person. I'm not a good person either, if I'm going by your all's definition. Um, I don't care what any of us have done in the past. It's what are we doing now? And then the next now, and then the next now. None of us are perfect. And besides somebody's quirks or somebody's gifts, so what is perfect? It's all in the, the eye of the beholder. But um, just know that I sincerely love you. Yes, those parts too. Yeah, you too. I love you.